Hello everyone. Good afternoon everyone. Um, once again welcome. Welcome to our server Savari. Uh, welcome to Mahali Mzuri. Welcome to Alaro Motorogi Conservancy. I am Jackson and my cameraman is Gideon. Uh, we have just started our evening game drive. It is another beautiful day today. Um, the weather looks perfect, although it's raining a little bit on my background. Whatever you see on the clouds there, you can see there's a little bit of a rain down on the on the western side of the Mara. Um, we've been having a fantastic time for the last, uh, you know, few months of the year. We've been having a migration. This is the first time we're experiencing the migration without uh, a crowding of vehicles. And uh, already the migration have gone back. You can see, actually, the old area look a little bit quiet, although we still have fantastic um, sighting. We still have fantastic sighting on the Conservancy. So we are doing very, very well. And uh, when Gideon tried to turn back his camera, um, we actually managed today to find uh, the five masiketeers. We call them masiketeers or the five brass cheaters. Um, they're right there. These are the guys that are very, very famous in Masai Mara. You can see they're right there. They're sitting, chilling out. Um, these are the guys that have actually normally hung around in Olare Motorogi Conservancy all the way down to to the Masai Mara Game Reserve. So we have a big privilege today. Um, they have just crossed the border to the Conservancy. We're actually following them and see whatever they want to do. These are actually the five brothers. So they they just stick together and they're well known for hunting. Um, they can go for the bigger prey like a zebra or a wildebeest. Those are the normal things they eat or they hunt. So um, these are the boys actually, all of them are males. Remember the cheetahs, they normally have a coalition if they're brothers, but if they're females, they normally separate. You might see them, uh, if it is a female, they normally separate, so everyone goes its own ways. But if the males, they always come together. And they can be very, very successful when they, in terms of hunting when they're together, because they normally do this as a group. A little bit windy, the clouds are building up. That's why you can feel a bit of wind. So they're sitting on a little mound. Um, cheetahs normally like to sit uh, right up on those little mounds because they give them a view to see what's happening on the plains. So you can count all of them, there are five of them. And actually initially these brothers, there are four of them are originally brothers and then one of them joined them um, and actually they make a very strong coalition. So they've been staying together for the last almost like three, three years now. We've been following them, they've been walking all the way down to the border between Kenya and Tanzania. Um, these guys have been taking a lot of pictures hunting Toppies and zebras and wildebeest. So we have we have been suspecting that they might probably get up and start uh, looking around if they can find a meal. Um, because they end actually the conservancy early this mo I mean in this in, in the morning. So they've been staying around here. Probably they're gonna take a one night and probably they might go back tomorrow morning or actually um, in the night. Because they do travel as well. I mean, especially when they get a bit of disturbance from lions, they can travel. So I will, I will just try to drive a little bit uh, around whether we can get more close and see whether we can see in another better angle. You 
can see them from there and actually the children they normally have that kind of uh, uh, a tear mark that is running from the eye to the mouth and they need that especially uh, because they hand on the middle of the day so it is actually this like the soccer players so they need that to absorb the light of the day so that they can see properly these boys are you know the children normally have uh, elegant bodies long legs a very slender body and you can see they have a long tail that can help them for balancing especially on the top speed look at that rolling trying to watch around whether something is coming or no so they always look vigilant you know they're just making sure that uh, they are very safe and as well they can see if anything that is um, coming closer it might be a prey or it might be some danger because sometimes you know they they fight because the cats are always um, uh, fighting uh, you know they fight because of the prey they fight because of the uh, they're all fighting over the same food so you never find them together with the lions they normally hate each other they look very peaceful animals very social and this boys has got a very uh, rich history because they've been hanging along the entire Masai Mara. So most of the probably majority of people, whenever they visit the Mara, these are the precious animals that they always want to see. The cheetahs, the five brothers, they are very famous. So they normally like to sit on chill. Although these animals are very, um, they're very opportunistic. Whenever they get a chance, you might see, see them start walking if they see something easier for them to hunt. So as soon as they find something to eat, they will definitely try to get up and look for something as soon as they see. These are the fastest animal. They can run at a distance of a, at a speed of 65 miles an hour. That is roughly about 112 kilometers per hour. That's another boy rolling. Sometimes they might try to break up, especially when they are mating. Uh, in some point whenever they're meeting you might see them breaking up a little bit there was a time they break up fast and actually three go together and two together and, and then they come back again so they have been so successful in when they stay together Indeed, they're very relaxing. A bit of a siesta. It is actually a, a, a fantastic weather for them now because it's, it's actually covered. The clouds are covering a little bit, so no much of uh, uh, there's no much of the sunshine. So it's not hot. So the the, the, the weather is perfect for them. And sometimes, whenever it gets too hot, you might see them taking the shade. But now, because there's no um, the sun is not there, 
it's quite a perfect uh, weather for them to sit on there just an open area And they have a very strong social uh, bonding together because you can see the three there they always like to sit close to each other so that's one of the way that they can um, they can actually you know provide love to each other and warm each other very very beautiful animals um, and when you look at their spots they always look solid but actually the leopard normally have a bit of a different one because they have kind of rosset spots but always the, the cheetahs has got solid spots and more slender body because for the cheetahs you never see them climbing up trees uh, but actually as soon as they bring down their prey they normally just eat as much as quickly as they can uh, because sometimes they have a problem of hyenas taking away their kill and lions as well but normally these boys, because they're together, they can defeat hyena. Unless maybe the hyenas are more than 10 or maybe 20 of them. That's the only time they can, they can actually um, grab the kill from these boys. Otherwise, they, are, they can protect uh, each other and they can protect their kill. So normally the female cheetahs, which are single, uh, have a much of a bigger problem. Especially when the hyenas are there. Uh, when they kill, hyenas can grab the kill away from them. So whatever you see along here, this is such a, uh, a great country for the cheetah because it is completely plain. The cheetahs normally need an area uh, which they can run because they depend on their speed. So they normally hang on a plain area. So this is actually a country for them. Uh, you know, they can have a space to run. So this is such a great, uh, a great country for the cheetah. The cheetahs don't like the bushy areas. Uh, but actually they just like to sit on open areas can see some heads like you know sort of like one is almost looking around so I guess because they're very opportunistic they might be trying to wait for any opportunity they will get and it's rolling down that's a way of a, a bit of a freshening up whenever you see them rolling they always turn around and look and look what is available around.
I guess they might be uh, a bit active now because of uh, the weather is such a perfect weather now for them to to start looking around and they might try to see whether they can find something to eat although I don't see any animal around here which is close by but they might start walking and trying to look around and see whether they can find something You can see one I've just put up his head. a bit of a traffic jam a bit of a traffic jam behind us so that's what, that's what the engine you can hear of the car Um, if someone threw a stone, they actually definitely it's a little bit of a banana, uh, gonna like you know you are destroying their peace of mind, and definitely they might get up. Uh, but at the same time, it's a little bit against against the rule. So we normally like to leave them the way they are because it is more like disturbing them. So the most important thing is just watch them. They can decide for themselves whatever they want to do. And uh, as I was telling you earlier that you never know because these animals you can't predict them whatever they want to plan to do they might start getting up and walk they might start getting up and try to look or they start playing among themselves uh, but now it's just like a more relaxing time for them Remember the cats are very lazy. Actually, if you look at the three cats we have in Africa, lion, cheetah, and leopard, um, they spend a lot of time sleeping. And uh, generally, when you look at the cheetahs, they do active, uh, being active most of the time in the middle of the day. 
because they know that uh, lions are quite uh, sleepy at that particular time. So whenever they hunt, and hyenas as well are on a sleep, so whenever they hunt, they can have a peace of mind to eat their kill. Uh, lions normally take about 20 hours sleeping, so they can be active only like four hours of the day. But actually the cheetahs, whenever they're full, they can also keep sleeping. Uh, you might find them just lying down, uh, taking shade of trees, or sometimes sleeping on the open, depending on the time of the day. Um, these boys are roughly about uh, four, five years old now, so five, six years. So actually, they, are lo they look very strong and on a good shape. Remember, generally the cat has got a bit of a, lo a short lifespan, so the cheetahs can live up to 12 to 15 years. But these boys are more like five, six years old, so yeah, they are on a very, very good shape. You can see they look very healthy. Um, no one is having any, any issues with the minge or uh, the felony aids. Because as you, as you all know that uh, cheetahs they have a bit of a, a problem of actually diseases. We have the felony aids and then we have psychoptic minge, which is more like a scabsy disease that normally affect the cheetahs, especially in the Mara. So, um, and that's one of the big limiting factor of the cheetahs because whenever one is infected, it can affect the rest of the, of the cheetahs, which can cause the death to them. So what we normally do in case of anything, we can do a report to the veterinary and then they can treat that particular uh, cheetah. Yeah, so mo generally most of the cheetahs has got a very high mortality rate. Whenever the mother have a cub, maybe one or two will survive. And uh, definitely the rest might die because of uh, some other animal predators like lions, hyenas. They kill them quite a lot. It might be a sign of getting up. You see the way that everyone is rolling up and down, so they might start uh, planning um, to wake up. You can see some has got been has been rolling up and down, so they might start getting up. Let's wait and see. Um, actually, it might be because these boys have spent a lot of time in the in the national park. So actually, they might be sharing some genes for the females in the park. Um, although they've been together, so it have been uh, a little bit hard for them to meet, especially when they stay together because they use a lot of time fighting, trying to fight for the females. But it was a time they separated a little bit, so I guess. Uh, probably we have a female in the park that has got new young ones. It might belong to one of these boys.
Yeah, they're feeling very good. Maybe they had a meal, probably maybe yesterday. I remember when these cats eat, they might uh, stay another one or two days. But what they normally do, they need to drink water because they feed on red meat, which contain a lot of salt. So it will always fill them to, to actually need to drink water. So this is, the, the cats are always like to drink water. So as long as they eat, uh, probably maybe they had a meal yesterday because they have just walk across the, to the conservancy early this morning, they might be. That's why the reason why they're not really hard, much on a hurry. Um, they don't really bite us. Actually, most of these cats, they know, uh, you know, they know humans. We are one of the main, uh, they take us as, as, as main predators. And actually, you can imagine how many vehicles these cheetahs have been seeing around in the Mara. So they don't take us as a prey. And that is why they, we feel very confident and very comfortable sitting here watching them. Um, because they see us as we are not a prey. So they don't go for human. I think the last time we had uh, uh, people being uh, attacked by lion was in the, in the 19th uh, century. When, when people are building the railway line and then some people were actually um, killed by lions at night and one of the problems they did they throw the dead bodies to the bush and when they did that um, the hungry lions came across the savannah and they went up eating those dead bodies and actually they start hunting for human flesh but nowadays because everything has been put on a place the cats look up more friendly as long as you don't bother them they don't bother you Yeah, the plant on the on the background there's a bit of rain we normally experience some short rain in November which is uh, which is good to the Mara because remember after the migration go back they normally slice the old grass down and there's not much left when you look at the place where the chairs are sleeping you can see the grass are very short so the, the wildebeest have just we call them the lawnmowers they have just slashed down all the grass so at least we need the rain so that it can just make the oil area look green again and uh, the few antelope that have been left behind i mean the gazelles and topi and some few zebras uh, they will be definitely happy again because when the grass are green they are more nutritious and very palatable for the herbivores I've been thinking that they might get up, but um, it looks like the boys are very comfortable. Uh, you can see some of right there, they're just putting across their legs. They're right on their bedroom, not in a hurry. You can see that one of them, the legs is up on the other one. He's sitting in a very comfortable uh, uh, position.
So actually, the cheetah, a mother cheetah can have up to normally six, up, even up to seven cubs. Um, for the last, I think last year, we had one female that has got like seven cubs. And the last time, and the last time I saw them, I saw that mother, um, she has got uh, six cubs, so she just lost one. Um, right, I am Jackson, and uh, my cameraman is, uh, is Gideon. So Duncan, Duncan is not around. Let me, let me just try to go around again, just for another, another position. All right, we are all doing well as well in Mahali, Missouri. Everything look nice. Uh, fantastic sighting still. We still have our famous cats. Tito is still there. Um, our lions are a little bit scattered around, but we still have all around. So I'm just driving a little bit around and see whether we can have another angle. see you too guys um, we're hoping that um, this COVID will over and we still have uh, a great time together there's beautiful countries waiting for you beautiful animals um, we are all waiting for you we're just taking care of them so we still have plenty of animals around plenty of game so fingers crossed we're gonna unite again Look like the boys look very um they must be in a very comfortable position because the way they're saying actually when these cats move to the conservancy they're a little bit move away from the back out of the park so they feel so relaxed and uh and more comfortable and i think that's one of the things that making them to stay more um a little bit more relaxed in the conservancy there's some sun grouse flying over also sun grouse the boards
here we have a bit of a thunder on the on our background so we might experience some rain across here we've been surrounded by the clouds so probably it might be a bit of a rain which is quite good for the animals so it's really fantastic especially for the herbivores because when it rain um, they will get water close by and definitely the grass will will be more green and palatable So this is really a bit of a rare sighting because sometimes these boys can move away and uh, they travel quite on a long distance and um, sometimes you might see them all the way down in the national uh, park they can even go up to the border of Kenya and Tanzania so we had a very very big uh, privilege to see today them across the conservancy um, which are one of the you know one of the most uh, incredible sighting to see them all together five of them you can actually count them they're all uh, lining up together And their tails are just moving slowly by slowly. This is one of the animals with incredible speed. When you see them sprinting on a distance, on a, on, a, on, a, on a speed of like 60 miles uh, an hour, it is tremendous when you see them running. Yeah, unfortunately, those are the our good. Those are very bad news for us. Um, that some countries are looking down again, but uh, we are hoping things will be fine. Um, it's a very very bad news for our industry, the hoteliers industry. Thank you very much. We're always ready to offer you more information about these animals. Um, we're gonna just share with you throughout. can feel the quiet uh, sound of Africa. There's some birds making some noise on the background. Those are the crown uh, lapwing. The crown lapwing sometimes are very noisy, especially if anything like a jackal try to come and steal their eggs or mangoes.
see their faces. They look a little bit smaller heads uh, because they just need that for running. And always their head, they, they, they have long legs. So the all, generally the all of the body shape is more streamlined. So they have those streamlined bodies. Um, that is built up for speed. Remember this is the fastest animal on earth. Just trying to wait for them to get up but it seemed like they've been very comfortably lying down so you boys get up we want to see you standing up wow Normally they have very good eyesight, so the, the sense of smell and hearing is very good. Eyesight is very, very good as well. Uh, generally for the three cats, they have all senses, uh, which are excellent. I mean the eyesight and the, and the sense of smell and hearing as well. Absolutely, it is a very big privilege to see them and actually we are very close to them. We are about, uh, I can guess, like two meters away from us and you can see how comfortable they are. They are very, very comfortable because they know we are not a threat to them. So that's one of the things that making them to sit comfortable there. All right, so once again, welcome again. Um, we're getting to the end of our Sova Safari. So once again, welcome. Welcome to Mahali, Missouri. Welcome to Alare Motoroge Conservancy. And actually, we are ready to host you for the next Sova Safari uh, next Wednesday. So be with us and keep in touch. And definitely, we know after the COVID-19 will pass, we're going to have a, a time to enjoy such a, a great diversity of wildlife in the Mara. So, great time and goodbye.